NOASA, through the g Cruise project, is constructing the Tufton Hall water storage tank, the first of many airmarked for different locations across the island to address current and future water demand. The Tufton Hall water storage tank promises to significantly enhance the water supply infrastructure for Victoria and surrounding areas, bringing about improved reliability, resilience and operational efficiency. Lendon Bullin, Assistant Manager of NOASA's Planning and Development Department, provides an overview of the current developments and future expectations for this critical infrastructure project. This tank is basically the, the holding area from the Tufton Hall water treatment location. Currently, this location does not operate with a storage um, facility, so this is one that we're going to be introducing on the project. So currently, the Tufton Hall water treatment plant feeds the entire town of Victoria. It goes all the way close to Maran and all the way back up towards Union. Right? So basically this tank is adding a buffer to the system that in case of a drought or so, there's a better reliance on the system supply to the residents and businesses in the area. Bullen highlighted the construction technique being employed to ensure safety and efficiency. The dome construction is, is ongoing as you can see. The team is currently installing the, the frame of the, the dome and the tank construction would continue thereafter. The way the tank is being constructed is that it's being built from bottom up. So there's no need for scaffolding and so on. And so two more rings would be added to this tank after the guys were finished with the dome mm -hmm. section of it and it will be lifted further up. Um, if you look to the side, you'll see there's a, a gauge placed on the side of the site as a guide for the height of the completion of the tank. Florida Aqua Store was awarded the tank construction contract. It is responsible for installing four tanks under Group 1 of the G Cruise project. The ongoing civil works at Tufton Hall include creating an access route around the tank, fencing the property, and setting up necessary electrical installations. Bullen provided a timeline for the project. Based on the rate the dome construction has been going, it's, it's really fast. The dome can be f completed within a week. And then, as I said before, we have a few panels, two more rows of panels to add to increase the height for the capacity of the tank. That will take a next week or two. So safely, I would say around the middle or early part of August, we can see the general works of the tank construction being completed. And thereafter, we can see more of the civil works taking place on the outer, outer parts of the tank. The pipeline installation component of the project from the Tufton Hall water treatment plant to Queen Street, Victoria, is being done simultaneously and is now about 80% installed. Currently, the team is now looking at installing the truss blocks and chambers along the route. So these are still kind of pending, but um, roughly 80% of pipeline itself we have road reinstatement taking place as well. Uh, we still have to do some pressure testing and sterilization prior to the completion and commissioning of the, of the system. Both aspects of the project are advancing steadily. Once completed, the project will significantly bolster the water supply reliability for serving communities, marking a substantial milestone in NOASA's efforts to enhance water infrastructure in Grenada.